Hi, I'm Candice from TopCon Healthcare. Today, I'm going to show you how to perform intraocular lens calculations for toric IOLs using your Aladdin. If a patient has an excessive amount of corneal astigmatism, a toric IOL can be implanted instead of a basic IOL, which can reduce or eliminate the visual impact of the corneal astigmatism. Calculations for a toric implant can be performed under the toric IOL calculation tab, under the Barrett tab, using the Universal 2 Toric option, or under the Olson tab, using the Toric IOL option. Regardless of the formula, you will be asked to confirm the target refraction, the amount of diopters of surgically induced astigmatism, or SIA, and the intended surgical incision location entered in degrees. Once this information has been entered, touch the IOL power option, to select that choice, then select Next. This opens a new screen with more information. On this screen, you can select from available subtypes of your chosen toric lens model and see the expected residual astigmatism that will be left over after the surgery. You'll also be able to see a breakdown of the toric IOL spherical and cylindrical powers as separate values, the axis of how the IOL should be oriented to best reduce the patient's astigmatism, and the expected postoperative refraction, not simply as a spherical equivalent, but as a sphere cylinder axis refraction. For information on how to configure toric IOL default settings, please check out TopCon Healthcare University, and we will see you later.